Hey everybody, do you know what time it is? It's time for another episode of What's the Deal With? And I want to know what's the deal with convex versus concave polygons. Let's first start with convex polygons. Let me give you a few examples of some convex polygons. These are just a few examples of convex polygons. Notice a couple of things. One, they don't have to be a regular polygon. So you'll notice that like this shape right here is not a regular polygon. So convex polygons don't have to be regular. However, it can't be a shape like this. This shape would not be convex. It would be concave. What do you notice that's different about this shape versus these other shapes? And I'll give you a hint. It has to do with the angles on the inside. Maybe you're noticing that the angles on this shape um, are all, looks like a cute. But what about this angle right here? That angle is actually going to be called a reflex angle. Reflex angles are greater than 180 degrees. Okay, so to recap, let's compare convex versus concave polygons and see if we can come up with a definition. So again, concave polygons look like this. They are polygons that have at least one angle that is more than 180 degrees or a reflex angle. Remember, if you're like, where is that angle again? It would be like this reflex angle here or this one here. It would also be that one right there. Those are reflex angles that are measuring more than 180 degrees. One way that I like to remember concave polygons is the cave part of that concave, right? I think of the reflex angle, I don't know why, as some sort of weird caved or a caved in shape if I think of something like this. Notice that it looks kind of like a cave and it's got this reflex angle back there. When I think of convex polygons, these are gonna be basically everything that's not a concave polygon. So these would be polygons where all of the angles measure less than 180 degrees. Again, these would be your more normal looking polygons like squares, rectangles, hexagons, octagons, that sort of thing. So I will draw just a few to show you some examples. Again, notice that my convex polygons do not have to be regular. They could be regular or irregular. I hope this video is helpful and you now know what to deal with convex versus concave polygons.